Namaste all. I hope you are doing well and you all are safe. I welcome you all on the behalf of Himalayan Yoga Association. My name is Yogi Vivek Rawat and I am your Ashtanga teacher. We are going to be discussing about some terms in Ashtanga, some basic terms, some alignment of the postures. I hope you enjoy this course and you find it fruitful. Namaste. Namaste all of you. I hope you all are safe and doing good. Welcome to my Ashtanga session. In today's session, we are going to talk about the basics of Ashtanga, what is the meaning of Ashtanga and what are the important terms which we need to understand before Ashtanga. So it is a kind of theory. So we are going to start it with the chanting of Om and the opening mantra of Ashtanga. So for that, you can sit comfortably on your mat either in Vajrasana, so kneeling down on the mat firstly. And then drop your hips very gently down towards your heels. So heels are slightly away from each other. If you have any kind of ankle issues, then you can adjust a cushion under your hips and over your heels. If you don't find this position comfortable, then you can just change the position and you can just bay in Sukhasana. So crossing your legs very gently, keeping your feet under your knees. If you have tight hip flexors here, then you can just adjust a cushion or a blanket underneath your hips or you can just go towards the wall and you can just take a support of the wall very gently now from here just be comfortable keep your spine tall and nicely comfortable keep your chest nicely open rolling your shoulders very nicely back palms on the knees keeping your chin parallel to the ground keeping your crown head crown of the head facing towards the ceiling now from here, very gently bend your both elbows, bring your palms together in front of your chest. Let's chant the opening mantra. Before that, one time Om together in a loud and clear way. Let's deep inhale. Vande Gurunam Charinaravinde Sandar Sita Swatma Sukha Babode Nisreya Se Janglika Yamane Samsara Hala Hala Moha Shantyae Abahu Purushakaram Sankh Chakra Siddharinam Sahastrasir Samsvetam Pranimamim Patanjalim Drop your forehead down towards your fingers. Pray to the God for the positive energy, for the power of focus. Lift your head up very gently. Release your arms down by looking down. Open your eyes. Now we are going to discuss about the basics of Astanga. Before that, it's very important to understand how this mantra is designed. So there is a particular opening mantra in Astanga. We need to just keep on chanting this opening mantra every day before the practice. And there is a particular closing mantra in Astanga. So we will have a look over the closing mantra also. So before that, just let's have a look on opening mantra. So I have got a white board here. I have written it on the board. So it is written all the way here, the meaning of this written. Uh, so in a Leo, if I would have to explain this, I'm going to just say one thing that we just chant this mantra so that we can just gain the positive energy. We can take the blessings. So we are just offering our salutations towards our Guruji, towards Maharshi Patanjali. 
so that we can just bring the positive energy we can just get the blessing which is going to be work out for us when we are going to follow the whole sequence so we need a blessing we need the positive energy so that's why we chant this mantra daily and mantra chanting it's a very important thing uh, before any kind of yoga practice even before uh, anything if you just want to stabilize yourself if you want to make yourself calm so mantra chanting is very important mantra chanting is said to just calm down your nerves regulate your breath and just you know stabilize your whole system for your whole body so mantra chanting is very important so we chant the universal mantra om before that so that we can just regulate our breath because you know when we come for the practice we are not our breath is not even our body is not in uh, an even condition so with these mantras we just try to stabilize ourselves first calm down our nerves and then we start the practice now as you can see the white board i have written all the lines of this mantra and what is the meaning of this mantra so if you just read if you just start reading it so it says i bow to the lotus feet of gurus the awakening happiness of one's own self revealed beyond better acting like the jungle physician pacifying delusion the poisonous of samsara taking the form of a man to the soldiers holding a conch a discus a sword 1000 heads white to patanjali i salute so the meaning of this if i just keep it together if i say it in a lieu we are just offering our salutation towards our guru ji towards mercy patanjali so that we can just take the blessing of our gurus we can just uh bring the positivity to our practice to our body so that it will be beneficial for us when we are practicing so that's why like mantra chanting has always a very positive effect on our whole system so that's it so now we are going to have a walk through the all the basic terms in ashtanga so it is important to understand all of these things so firstly let's break the term ashtanga into two parts so what is ashtanga ashta means eight anga means limb or part so there are eight limbs in ashtanga so yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhi uh, don't worry these terms will be uh, you know talked in details in your philosophy lessons so we shall be just talking about other things more so we shall be just focusing on asana here the third one asana uh, this ashtanga was founded by sri k patavi joys in 1948 there are three points of attention which we need to just focus on what are these three things what are these three points movement breath and gaze movement as you just move your any body limb towards each other or away from each other or like forward down up anywhere any kind of movement breath see breath is very important factor as you all know without breath or even like um the lack of breathing will make you tired very easily so it is very important to keep on breathing and just do a specific breath which is very helpful in ashtanga since in ashtanga Uh, there are lot of you know intensive postures so it is very important to uh, you know understand what is ujjayi breath ujjayi breath so ujjayi means victorious or ocean or cobra so these names have been given to this breath because it resembles like that so this ujjayi breath is very you know deep breathing uh, with this breathing you just keep on breathing and keep continue your practice without any you know exhaustion uh, and this ujjayi breath always keeps you tied in the practice so how this breath is uh, you need to just sit comfortably on your mat just contract your back of the throat firstly so when you are inhaling you have to make a little noise 
by the slight contraction of your back of the throat. So you're going to just firstly make sure that you have exhaled all the air out and then from there on inhale. So you have seen this. So this should be you know audible. It is said that Astanga when Astanga practices, practice uh, this sound of breath is quite audible that even up when someone is just going nearby it is audible to that person also. So this breath is very you know energetic and it always keeps you you know going and keeps you tied in the practice with the practice. So Ujjayi breath we always just keep on doing Ujjayi breath in the postures. The third one is gaze your drishti. So there are some specific points gazes uh, there are nine gazes in astanga so each posture has got one specific gaze where you should just look uh, it is very important it always keeps you you know focused in the posture especially if you just you know you always tend to wander if you just look wherever so you uh, always tend to lose your focus so it is in very important to be focused in the posture that's why that those dristis those gazes are there so what uh, are those nine gazes let's have a look the first one is upward gaze so urdhva dristi or infinite dristi where you just have to look up so there can be anything like any ending point even the ceiling sky so it is not a fixed point but it is like upward drishti right third eye point between your eyebrows you need to just rotate your eyeballs in you have to look at there tip of the nose you have to just look at your tip of the nose your navel center you have to just look towards your navel center your side drishti parts of drishtis so left one and right one right um, when you just raise your arm up your hastagre drishti so it is known as like you look towards your palm or fingers uh, your angustha madhya drishti which is your thumb your toes padyugrahi drishti so these are the nine drishtis don't worry uh, in every posture i will be just reminding you uh, about though like these specific gazing points so don't worry about that uh, we shall be discussing about that uh, so there are six series in astanga primary secondary series advanced a b c and d so these are the six series in astanga primary series is known as yoga chikitsa or like kind of therapy for your joints secondary series is known as nadi sodhana which is nerve cleansing third series advanced series is known as sthira bhaga which is your you know strength purpose so we are gonna just we are gonna be doing we are gonna be performing primary series in 200 hour uh, generally here in TTC uh, in teacher training course here in Rishikesh we just do primary series in both 200 and 300 hour because it is not easy to achieve the mastery over the postures very like in a short time but like in this online TTC we are going to be discussing about secondary series also we have a full moon off day so it is said that full moon and new moon has a deep effect on earth on water specifically so our body is also more about like it is more about water there is a lot of water inside our body so that's why it affects our body also so on full moon day and new moon day it is off day and in astanga uh, out of one week out of seven days we should practice just six days so one day is a rest day so that we can just feel energized again for the next week Mysore style is very important term Mysore style is like uh, it is performed in Mysore Mysore is a place in India where this Astanga is very famous it was born there uh, Mysore style yoga is Mysore style Astanga is something where you just need to be practicing 
on your own. So the teacher is going to just adjust you or maybe like giving some answers to your questions. But you have to just practice yourself in order to learn the sequence of all the postures in order to just, you know, understand the postures properly. So there are lead classes which are led by teachers and there is Mysore style practice when you just know the sequence a little bit and then you just practice on your own to understand the posture, to understand your body more effectively. So this was all about Astanga. In Astanga there are a few things. So we are going to be discussing about primary series. Primary series, in primary series there are sun salutation A and B. So we perform five, five rounds of sun salutation A and B. After that we move ahead to the standing postures. So we shall be discussing about sun salutations and standing postures about their alignment, about the modifications, uh, about some you know traditional things. After that we move to standing series. After standing series, you know, we perform sitting series. After sitting series, there are reclining postures. After those, there is a finishing sequence. And at the end, uh, we just finish the sequence with Savasana. So it takes generally one and half hour to finish all the series. Uh, for the for the beginners, it may take like two or two, two and a half hours maybe uh, because of you know challenging some challenging postures. There are a lot of forward bending postures in Astanga primary series. In Astanga secondary series, uh, the majority of the posture is backward bend. So the first series, in the first series, we are uh, you know gonna have to perform forward bending a lot. There are other postures also where you have to twist, where you have to open your hips, where you have to, you're like um, going inward. Uh, so there are inversions. There are like few back bending postures also there. So it is said that when you don't get mastery over the first series or one particular variation, you don't go ahead towards the second one in a standard it is said. So first you have to get the mastery over one particular variation or one particular series and then you have that uh, strength, you have that, you know, you get that, you know, flexibility to go ahead, to move ahead to the next variation or next series. Astanga is said to be quite intensive, um, quite, you know, very intensive, very challenging series. Um, there are some intensive postures there but with the modification if you do it if you are aware of what you are doing if you are aware of your actions then it is not going to be very very you know hard for you it, you can make it like you can reduce the intensity of the postures we shall be discussing about those things also uh, so this was about some basic terms of stanga uh, we are going to start the next sessions with the sun salutation A, sun salutation B and slowly slowly we will move towards the standing series, the sitting series. Uh, it is very important to understand the structure of your body, to listen to your body whenever you are practicing. If you are not listening to your body, definitely injury can come to you at any time. Even if you are walking, you can get injured. But if you are aware, if you are listening to your body, if you are just providing what your body needs instead of just feeding your desires, then of course it would be very beneficial for you. So this was all about Astanga introduction, uh, Astanga basic terms. Um, so just we are going to discuss about other things in other sessions. So now we are going to close the session with the chanting of Om and the closing mantra. Okay, as you can see here on the whiteboard, this is the closing mantra. So this is in Sanskrit. I will be chanting that for you. Uh, you can just repeat with me or you can just repeat after me. You can just understand it first and then you can repeat afterwards the next day in the next session. Um, so this is the meaning of, you know, English meaning of this mantra. So it goes like this, may all be well with mankind, may the leaders of the earth protect in every way by keeping to the right path, may there be goodness, 
for those who know the earth to be sacred may all the world be happy so again in a leo if i just have to make you understand what is the meaning of this we are closing our you know this practice and we are just bringing our practice to an end um, so we are bringing our efforts in order to improve the state of the world so we are just you know literally here we want to share this that may all the world be happy and may this happiness will be everywhere may there will no uh, ne- like no negativity in this world so this is the meaning this is the purpose of this closing mantra um at the end we also chant om shanti shanti so it's like it's the meaning again may everywhere uh, this peace will be spreaded uh we chant shanti three times so that we can just uh we can just remove all the negativity all the delusions since there are three kind of problems and don't worry you will get to know that in your philosophy class so let's just end this session so for that you can just again sit comfortably on your mat and then we will chant the closing mantra from here sit comfortably on your mat keeping your eyes closed check your spine check your entire body parts keep everything relaxed here bend your both elbows bring your palms together breathe in oh स्वस्ते प्रजाभ्य परिपालय न्याय न मगेण महिम महिम सा गोब्रह्मनेभ्य शुभ मस्तु ने लोकासमस्ता शांति 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 drop your forehead down thanks to the god for nice yoga session and be thankful for everything you have be grateful lift your head up very gently release your arms down by looking down gently open your eyes so i hope you have understood all the basic terms you have got on all the things which are important in ashtanga um, see you in the next session until then enjoy and be safe namaste